Right, we're on the way to Epping. I'm going to pop into Tesco to get some refreshments, but it is beautiful around here, like. Absolutely stunning. That was a pure fluke of a find of a hotel, like. But, you know, it's going to be warm the day. Got the shorts on. Come on, the lads. Just been to that Tesco. Hey, it was manic. Absolute manic for Sunday. A right, question for you at home. What is your go-to meal at Tesco, Asda, wherever you do shopping? Today I've gone with some pasta, but I want to know what your go-to meal is. The winner will have their comment pinned. But as you can see, I've got tons of drink. <laughs> Water, that is, and an energy drink. That's because when I come home, I don't have to stop, hopefully. Too many times, obviously I've got video editing, but uh, I... Look at that, everybody. Look at that, the sun is out. I am parked up, everybody. Welcome everybody to the mad world of Stratford. We've got Stratford Centre over there. We need to go over the bridge, over there, and through Westfield Shopping Centre, and then we'll start to see the stadium. Funky van. He has a start for you, everybody at home. The Metro Centre isn't the biggest shopping centre. It's actually here. Westfields is now bigger than the Metro Centre. So there we're going. Just in the background there, if you look closely, you can see the stadium now. We're nearly there. 90 minutes from kickoff, ironically. So half and half match day scarves from a sports direct bag. Don't think so, mate. There we're going, everyone. Lovely warm day. Now, I've got to show you something. So that's where you go in, but full time, what they'll make away fans do is they'll make we go down that side. Now if you look at the distance over there, you can see that bridge, they'll make us cross that bridge and walk the long way around the shopping centre. So it's a bit of a nightmare for the away fans, but it should be alright today with the weather being nice and approach the stadium, it's time to day out of security. So this is where I've got all my camera stuff. I am still travelling light, but considering I've got two mobiles, a recorder, a microphone, a battery pack, car keys, no doubt I'll have to take mine out. But it's protocol and it's for a good reason. Surprise, surprise, I had to take all my stuff out. But we're through. So the idea of Newcastle having a fan zone works the street because if you look on the left hand side here, this is where you've got tons of tons of bars where you can purchase fast food, beers, all sorts. The way section is up here, it's around the left side of the stadium. So that's where we're heading towards now. So I've moved away from there from copyright reasons because as you've probably noticed in this vlog, I'm not using any music. But this is a West Ham's club store and just walking around gives you ideas of what the owners of Newcastle can do. You know, they've got several, several of shops as I've mentioned, club store, ticket deals, uh, West Ham and Man City do it really, really well. So it's a lot of ideas that the club can take and pinch from these two clubs when they start building the fans zone around. Obviously we know that the stack's going to be there. But there's also, you know, next to the strawberry, that car park, that hill section, there could be stuff done there too. We're starting to come around now to the Newcastle section. Now, back in March, where we won 5 1, they kept us here for fucking ages. Literally got in as kickoff happened. So it's fairly quiet at the minute, but uh, I'm not hanging about waiting for that, like. Right, the lads were just talking about where the members of NFTV were, especially Johnny. Johnny, where are you? Come on. You slagged me off for not being at Burnley. Where are you today? He's not here. He's not here. Part time, part time Johnny. Unbelievable. He's only there for the big games. <laughs> Gordon suspension is a big one. Eddie Anderson's going well wide. We've got Callum Wilson's came back at injury on the bench. Uh, for me, I think we've now already won it. Uh, I don't like this game at all. I'm a bit worried going into it. I'm going to back this 2 1. This sack in Wilson was great. Let's take a look how Newcastle are lining up this afternoon as the stadium announcer is doing West Ham. So it's only one change for Newcastle, which I predicted that would be the case on the drive down yesterday where Elliot Anderson will come over to that left-hand side. Callum Wilson is on the bench, which is great to see. He has a fantastic goal-scoring record against West Ham, so really the options from the bench, strength and depth really from Newcastle is only Wilson and probably Jacob Murphy. But, you know, got to keep this unbeaten run going, lads, how are
So as we away kick off, you'll never believe this. So when we won 5 1, which I was standing just there, there's some guy sticking his fingers up left, right, and centre to the West Ham fans. Glove right by him again. Unbelievable. <laughs> what are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? Blow your fucking bubbles. like it's Jamal Asel's been pushed out the right back and he's out of position and then Nick Pope's come flying out with his goal so Mick's had the two of them I think West Ham fans are singing no noise from the Jordy boys no oh, noise preview, from the Jordy boys Castle's best chance there we kick from Trippie on the right hand side Dan Burns flicked it on it's just went wide well that's it at half time Newcastle United have been really poor too sloppy, too slow, not enough movement, not enough urgency. My god, how we all have just pulled up a world is here. So go on, we can't bear to score in there. My god, what a great team. Let's look at the team back. Oh. 
Hassan has scored in the 80th minute. Mohamed Kudos to the edge of the box. Rolls the bottom corner. 2-2. Ah, Disappointing that way. What a save that was by Nick Paul. That's for the first goal. My God, is he just possibly kept me passing that point there. It's a great save. Remember earlier where I told you to make you walk the long way. Well, this is it. And also, just back in March, April, we filmed just there when we won 5 1 here last season. Just there. Small world, isn't it? Ten minutes later, and we are still walking. Stadium as well, there now. Take yeah. 45 minutes that stuck. 45 minutes gets you. Joke, an absolute joke. <laughs> well, I'm happy. I'm just off the metro, the tube. So I'm back in the estate where I'm parked. I've got this match vlog to put out. I've just done match reaction and I've got the last word. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to film the last word because I didn't have time to at the London Stadium. They're pushing everybody out. But then they were holding everybody back, so I could have. Stupid. But that's on them. But I'll find somewhere. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned to the last word. But yeah, I'm going to jump in the car now, everybody. I'm just next to it. You can drop us a like on this match vlog. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.